This is a demonstration of the Smart Home Bulldog Valve Robot working on a large and difficult one and a quarter inch ball valve. It's a Z-Wave Plus device um, compatible with uh, most uh, popular smart home controllers and some that aren't so popular. Um, so I'm just going to explain how I mounted it first. So this uh, valve type is a threaded type and it has the hex collar here and what we do it's the same collar on this side so we first wrap the collar with the included silicon tape and that adds some stability and evens it out enough for our standard uh, mounting bracket and this bracket is uh, specifically it's the extra large designed for one and a quarter and one and a half inch uh, ball valves in this case we have the flat side here but you could have the L side there depending on the valve type to make sure it's easier to line up the pivot points and it's important to line up the pivot points to uh, make sure the stroke is uh, most efficient. Alright so I have it mounted on there and the valve is now in the open position and I'm going to push the button and you can watch it go to the closed position. And uh, what's nice about our controller here is that now it's a separate module so you can mount that up on the wall or even extend it, you know, to 20 or 30 feet away if you had, the, you know, the device under the cottage or something. Alright, and but of course in most cases you have it paired with your smart system and you're controlling it with your smartphone or you uh, have it set up with water sensors so it automatically shuts off in the case of a leak uh, you know saving money and expensive and complicated insurance claims and you know damage to your home that's kind of the real idea um, and I'm just going to show you the um, the open stroke which is a little more difficult because of this valve type and I've noticed between you know with the dozens of valves that we've played with here that it's not always about the size. We do support to one and a half, up to a one and a half inch ball, ball valve, which is very large. Um, something else to note is that we only mount on the valve itself, our mounting bracket. So any stress doesn't get transferred to the pipe connection at all. Uh, there's some of the uh, competitive products will mount on the actual plumbing, which uh, you know we think is a no-no in terms of uh, you know insurance concerns and uh, plumbing regulations, and really the stress you know on the connection here if it happens to be not the greatest uh, you know solder joint or whatever the connection is a sharp bite you know you don't want to be twisting this pipe uh, against the valve it you know could cause a leak itself so there's no point in putting it on there if it's going to make the problem worse um, so I'm just going to show you the uh, stroke for the uh, the open on this valve which happens to be difficult and uh, but let's watch it you can see it Stress is out of bed. It moved, you know, maybe a few mils this way when it was getting the stroke started, but then it recovered. Um, so that's okay, and it's uh, finishing off the stroke. And that's it. Thanks.